Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be going over how to convert from degrees to radians. It's an important skill to have once you start working with radians, so let's get right into how this conversion is done. So here's a simple question, how many degrees are in a circle? There's 360 of them, right? A circle is a full 360 degrees. So let's write that right here, 360 degrees, the number of degrees in a circle. How many radians are in a circle? Well, you might know, maybe not, there are two pi radians in a circle. So a whole circle is 360 degrees or two pi radians. Those are equal measures. So we can write that 360 degrees is equal to two pi radians. Now in order to convert from degrees to radians, we want to know how many radians are in one degree. If we want to get one degree instead of 360 degrees here on the left side of the equation, all we have to do is divide both sides by 360. So we have 360 degrees divided by 360, that's equal to two pi radians divided by 360. Then over here on the left, 360 degrees divided by 360, that's just one degree, that's equal to two pi radians over 360. Two over 360 is equal to one over 180. So one degree is equal to one over 180 pi radians. And there you go, this is your degree to radians conversion. Whatever number of degrees you have that you want to convert to radians, just multiply it by one over 180 pi, and that is the number of radians. So for example, how about a right angle? That's a cool type of angle, let's test our formula on that. A right angle, we know, has a degree measure of 90 degrees. So to figure out how many radians that is, we just have to multiply both sides of this equation by 90 because that will give us 90 degrees over here on the left, and it will tell us what that's equal to in radians on the right. Multiply both sides by 90, we get 90 degrees is equal to 90 divided by 180 pi radians. And of course, 90 over 180 is equal to 1 half, so this is equal to 1 over 2 pi radians. So there you go, 90 degrees is equal to 1 half pi radians, and of course we usually leave radians in terms of pi. And again, this is the conversion. Whatever number of degrees you have, to convert it to radians, just multiply that number by 1 over 180 pi, and that is the number of radians. And we could also write this formula another way that might be more clear to some of you. We could write it as x degrees is equal to x over 180 pi radians. So for example, 25 degrees, that's just equal to 25 over 180 pi radians. And of course, you could do some simplification here, but we will leave it at that. So that's how you convert from degrees to radians, and that's where the formula comes from. You could also figure out how to convert from radians to degrees by using this formula. You just have to do some algebra. So I hope this video helped you understand how to convert from degrees to radians. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description.